Moments. Life is a series of moments. And in sports, we remember the ones that move us. That crazy shot, that insane catch, that photo finish. It's Barcelona, Spain, 1992, the Olympic track, the 400 meter semifinal, the decorated medal favored runner, the starting gun, the cheering crowd, the pounding of feet, the snap of a hamstring, the silence of crushed dreams. What happened next are moments that the sports world will never forget. Derek Redmond was born in 1965 in Great Britain. He was educated at Rhodes School, where a sports facility now bears his name. As a world and European relay champion, he's known as one of Britain's most famous athletes. His rise to running fame began in 1985 when he broke the 400 meter British record with a time of 44.82 seconds. The next year, he was selected to run on the 4x400 relay team for the European Championship in Stuttgart. The team won gold. And then in the following year, the team won a silver medal at the World Championships in Rome. When the 1991 World Championships rolled around, Great Britain was ready. Derek Redmond, along with his teammates Chris Akabusi, John Regis, and Roger Black, shocked the track world with a gold medal victory over the favorite American team. Their run remains the second fastest in the 4x100 history books. Derek Redmond was ready to prove himself once again in the 1992 Barcelona Summer Olympic Games. His body, after some eight surgeries and a slew of injuries, was healthy and strong. He was a favorite for the 400 meter run. In the first round, Redmond ran his quickest 400 in four years. He said, I was feeling absolutely 100% before the race. I had two really good rounds without even trying. And the night before the semifinal, I talked with my father and my coach, and we decided I was going to push a bit harder and try to get a good lane for the final. He had a great start. This would easily secure him a good lane for the finals. But with about 100 meters to go, his hamstring popped. The pain was searing. He faltered and then fell. In that moment, time stood still. Most injured athletes sit and wait for help to be carted off the track or court or field, but not Redmond. He remembers, I thought I'd been shot, and then I recognized the agony. I'd pulled my hamstring before and the pain is excruciating, like someone shoving a hot knife into the back of your knee and twisting it. I said to myself, there's no way I'm going to be stretchered out of these Olympics. I didn't know where I was. I really, really believed I could still qualify. As the world watched, Redmond popped up. In his mind, he thought he might be able to finish. If he could just beat a few of those guys, he could still make it to the finals. In his mind, he was running. In reality, he began an awkward, hobbling jog willing himself to keep going. He shrugged off several Olympic officials, suggesting he stop. At the same moment, Redmond's father, Jim, was fighting his way down to the track. He blew past several guards, jogging out to his son. Jim told his son, look, you don't need to do this. You can stop now. You haven't got anything to prove. Yes, I do, Redmond replied. Get me back into lane five. I want to finish. And in that moment, 
Jim Redman made a quick decision. Well then, we're going to finish this together. And arm in arm, the two began to make their way to the finish line. Redman could barely use his leg, but his dad was there, as he's always been. Meanwhile, Redman's mom Jenny was watching on her TV in Northampton, weeping. She later told the press that the last time she'd seen her son so unhappy was on his sixth birthday, when he didn't get the bike he wanted. Redmond's sister Karen was nine months pregnant, watching in horror as the scene unfolded on her TV screen. Her brother's agony sent her into labor. As they approached the finish line, his father let go, allowing Redmond to cross on his own. 65,000 fans cheered, on their feet, many with tears, at what they'd just witnessed. An unbelievable moment in sports history. Sadly, that was to be his last major race. He retired, and a doctor told Redmond that his running career was over. But Redmond, always the fighter, was not ready to say goodbye to sports just yet. He went on to play basketball in the British Basketball League and raced a motorcycle in the UK circuit. He also played rugby. Today, he works as a motivational speaker, inspiring others with his compelling story. Derek Redmond said, Someone once asked me, How do you become successful? And the easiest and most relevant answer is to get up just one more time than you've been knocked down. As fans of sport, we celebrate the victories. We cheer on champions for their speed and grace and tenacity. We salute the strength of athletes that overcome obstacles. And we honor those like Derek Redmond, who wanted to finish on his own terms, on his feet, who wanted that moment of crossing the finish line. It wasn't the photo finish he planned on or dreamed of. Instead, it's the photo finish that recorded one of the Olympics' most emotional moments. A father's love, a competitor's courage, a moment to remember. Thanks for watching Heartbeats on the Sports Beat. If you enjoyed this video, please click to subscribe to our channel and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to tap the notification bell so you'll be one of the first to know when we post our next inspiring sports story.